Now let's have a look at some of the changes you can make to an image. Altering images can be a bit frustrating. The things I will show you will not always be available. This is because of the different types of images. Bitmaps, JPEGs, TIFFs, GIFs. It's all because some are drawings and some are photographs and a whole range of other features. So just bear this in mind and don't get frustrated. I'll insert a piece of clip art from the task pane, a school bus. There we go. Just make that a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing and the effects that we're going to have. So that's just clicking and dragging on the um, on the grab handles around the outside. Remember to keep things in proportion, always use the corner ones. You don't want to make your bus look a bit strange if you use the outside ones. So I'll always use the corner ones. Let's find the toolbar. We can see the toolbar there. Now, if you can't see it, remember you have to select the object first. If I click off the object, the toolbar disappears. Click back on the object and there's the toolbar. The toolbar itself might be anchored somewhere. If it is, just click and drag it down. If you can't see it at all, it's because it's been switched off and you can get it back from the view and toolbars menu. The reason it can disappear is if someone's clicked the cross button, so don't close it down with that, just click away from your picture and the toolbar disappears. So there's my toolbar and we'll take it one step at a time. The first icon we're going to look at is the colour icon and this changes the basic colours of the object to make it either grayscale, black and white, or wash out. Wash out is a great feature for putting behind text, perhaps as a logo on your master slide. Put that back to automatic. The next two icons adjust the contrast. So if I increase the contrast, you can see the dark lines get darker and the white area here behind the bus turns to white. If I use less contrast, then you can see that white area behind the bus starts to actually take on a colour. The contrast is getting less between black and white. Pop that back a little bit. Okay. The next two icons are just the brightness of the image. So again, we can have more brightness or less brightness. And depending on the pictures that you're using, that will have a more or less effect. The next two icons we'll come back to at another time, or the crop icon we'll come back to another time, sorry. Um, we can rotate our image with the rotate button. And remember you also got this little green icon here that you can click and drag to rotate your picture. Oops, I have to get that back how it should be. We can add a border to our picture. Compress will come back to another time. And the last one I want to show you really is the recolor picture. That allows you to choose one of the colors or all of the colors of the picture and change it for something else. For example, if we want to change the black lines from black, which is the original, to a new color, perhaps red, then all of that colour, anything that is black, has now been changed to red. Go look, see what that looks like. So that's the change colour. To revert things how they were, we can simply take the tick out of the box. And it puts it back to how it was. That's a really nice little feature. The final button on the toolbar that I want to show you at the moment is the reset picture and that just puts everything right back to its original state. Which is a little small bus with no different colours. Okay, so that's the picture toolbar. Well worth having a play with that with your pictures.